when the IRA exploded a bomb as people gathered to remember the dead of two world wars. The Enniskillen bombing was widely condemned. So great was the sense of outrage that many people hoped it might mark a turning point in the troubled province and lead to reconciliation. Others weren't so sure, and events have proved them right. In Enniskillen today, the bereaved families remembered their loss. A single red rose was left by the bereaved families today on the spot where the IRA bomb was planted last year. Julian Armstrong, whose parents died in the blast, left a wreath at the war memorial, and then the families attended a private church service. The carnage at Enniskillen, through words of forgiveness from injured and bereaved, seemed like it might become a turning point. But the story of the town today is also of a reconciliation unfulfilled. Mari Wilson's death led to a voyage of hope to Canada for six young people, three Protestant, three Catholic. It is the young people who the onus is on because the older people have sad attitudes and it's, it's going to be it's too late to change their opinions. Whereas with the young people, they're still impressionable, etc. So th it is their opinion can be changed, their beliefs. Yeah, I agree with Patrick as well, and I think that if this trip kind of trip carried on, I think it'd be really, really worthwhile. Gordon Wilson has received many awards this year, but his wife Joan, a music teacher, has also had to carry the strain. Well, of course, we never expected it to be a watershed, but there has been a change in people's hearts. The young people and the people I meet, I think, are more loving and caring and uh, more aware of, uh, of loving each other. Love was very important for the bereaved and the injured too. Ronnie Hill's been in a coma ever since the bombing. His wife, Noreen, visits him daily in hospital. Ronnie could die tomorrow, five times now in the year. He was very, very low. But each time, we've left him in the Lord's hands and he's come back. You have to contend with both the feelings of the anger and the hatred, plus your sorrow and what you have to come through uh, when someone tells you that your husband's not going to see mourning. Enna Skillen has witnessed many emotions and for some, the forgiveness expressed by people like Mrs. Hill and Gordon Wilson is just too much to ask. No rational person can forgive a man that did the like of that. God, in his great mercy and his great love, hasn't forgiven him. How could a mere human being do it? Perhaps the most telling illumination of Enniskillen today is the fact that the Anglican Bishop of Liverpool, David Shepherd, won't be attending next Sunday's remembrance service at St. McCartan's Cathedral. He wouldn't go without his Catholic colleague, Derek Warlock, but he wasn't invited. The Remembrance Day bomb touched a chord right round the world last year, but it's a brutal fact of life in Northern Ireland that in terms of peace or politics, they were just 11 more deaths. Peace depends upon politicians, and while those who died here will always be remembered,